over 75 years, Pink's Hot Dogs in Hollywood, California has served celebrities from Michael Jackson and Katy Perry to Celine Dion and Jay Leno. We're here at the Mom and Pop Hot Dog Stand to learn how to make some of their most famous hot dogs. Join us on Get the Dish. Find out the secrets behind the signature dishes at famous eateries and how you can recreate them at home. The line at the corner of La Brea and Melrose wraps around the building even at midnight. The Hollywood landmark featuring a variety of 35 hot dogs, burgers, and sides remains a staple for locals, tourists, and celebrities alike. I'm here with Richard Pink who's going to show us how to make the dog that started it all. Brandy, we are so thrilled you are here. Have you been to Pink's before? Oh yeah, I've been to Pink's. I love it, but I'm usually over there in line just salivating. So I'm going to show you how to make the Pink's famous chili dog that started it all 75 years ago. Wow, all right, put me to work. Okay, <laughs> let's go do it. We're going to start with a steaming, very tasty bun. Oh yeah. Oh, you can just sort of smell the bread. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Here it goes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, grab one of those nine inch hot dogs, turn it, that's the right way because we like it to smile. Smile. That's right. Next comes the mustard. We just sort of squirt it right across the top there. Everybody likes a mustard dog, but this one's going further. Okay. Yep. This one's going to the onions. Okay. All lovely. right. Just a little bit of onions for that wonderful crunch. And next is the world famous chili. This is the secret recipe that really put my parents on the map. So I'm going to put it on here just enough to give it the right chili taste and a little bit more because everybody wants more chili. <laughs> they just love our chili. And then finally, to top it off, a little bit of cheddar cheese just across the top. And then by the time you get to your seat, this cheese will be melted. And it is just awesome. Pink sells over 2,000 hot dogs every single day. What's the next hot dog we're going to make? Oh, we're going to try the Millennium Dog. Now, how did you come up with the Millennium Dog? Well, you know, when 2000 came around, we said we got to create a dog for the new century. And we need something really big because it's going to be a great 100 years. And so we came up with the Millennium Dog, which is a 12-inch jalapeno dog. It is so good, and nobody else has this hot dog. <laughs> All right, I can spot the jalapeno dog right, right. there. Whoa, so go for that. this is Layer huge. Layer it in there. Oh, and you can see the green from the jalapenos. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of jalapenos. Whoa. Next, chili. Chili ah. gets layered across. A little bit of crunchy lettuce. Next is the tomatoes. Oh, and next is my favorite part. That's right. The guacamole, the right? Fabulous guacamole. Oh, yeah. We make it here every day. Good thing I go to the gym because my oh, arm is getting a right. workout. All and right. then the next, onions? Grilled onions. Yeah. Right on top. And we top all that off with three slices of bacon. Oh my gosh. And that's the Millennium Dog. Whoa, you guys were starting food trends before they even existed. Okay, so how did you guys come up with the Lord of the Rings dog? Well, it all started with the Mulholland Drive dog. That movie was partially filmed at Pink's, mm -hmm. and we had a hot dog on the menu, and it was fabulous. We all of a sudden named it the Mulholland Drive dog, and everybody started ordering Everyone it. Everyone wanted it. Well, because this is Hollywood. We gotta, you know, have a tribute to the movies of Hollywood. So the next one we created was the Lord of the Rings because we got these great onion rings. We got to figure out how to do this. Again, we start with our a nice steamy wonderful bun. steamy bun. Reach in for that nine inch stretch hot dog. Okay, oh, that my is perfect. Now this one is fairly simple. Let's go down oh, to yeah? the onion rings. I'll pick up the dog. And I'm going to put the and rings on the, the hot dog. Through. Next our famous barbecue sauce. It is so yummy. So we just well, put a lot. you can't onion rings without barbecue sauce, that's Richard. That's right. And that's Whoa. the Lord of the Rings on. We're here with Beverly and Gloria Pink. Ladies, thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to talk to you about Pink. Well, we're delighted to have you here. So Beverly, you've been here really since the beginning. I mean, why yes. do you think Pink's has remained an iconic landmark? Well, my parents, Betty and Paul Pink, started Pink's Hot Dogs in 1939. They started with a little push cart, and in 1939, of course, it was Depression time. So it was a bad time, and they decided to start a hot dog stand because, you know, everyone has to eat. Gloria, what has been one of your favorite memories here at Pink's? You know, originally, people would tack up their picture on the wall in hopes of being discovered, and maybe oh that's all they gosh. could afford. Yeah. And then after they made it big, they continued to come here. I mean, we say 
people come to peace in everything from pickups to limousines. Even Escalades. Now tell me about when the Secret Service showed up. The Secret Service showed up, of course, we didn't know they were Secret Service because they were wearing Tommy Bahama shirts uh -huh. and flip-flops and we thought they were customers. But they showed us their ID and they said, we're with the Secret Service, we have a very important guest coming. And sure enough, 30 minutes later, Michelle Obama and her daughter showed up. It was unbelievable. All right, ladies, I gotta try this. It's a soft bun, it's got the crunch of the onions mm. and the chili, not too sweet, not too spicy. Shredded cheese on top just tops it off. Oh my gosh, this hot dog is delicious. Ladies, thanks so much for having us. Thank you for coming to Pink's. <laughs> and thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time we get the dish on Pop Sugar.